Hi guys, welcome to Cloudy ML. I'm Rahul, and today we are going to see loops in Python. So let's get started. First, before starting on this, like uh, I would like to show you the difference between while loop and for loop. Like let's just discuss this because uh, many times. Uh, you forget the main differentiation between both of them, which is why we use while with a certain condition. And usually we don't know when the condition is uh, gonna finish. We just say that as long as a particular condition is satisfying, keep looping in, in it. And once condition is not satisfied, get out from it. But as in for loop, uh, we know as how long we are going to run this. We know this. Let me show you with an example. For example, let's say right now i is zero. Okay. And I say while i is less than, let's say five. This is the condition. As long as i is less than five, print welcome to cloudy ml. And then after printing, increase i by i plus one, increase i by one. You can also write this like uh, i plus equal to one. You can also do this. Now, now let's run this. See, it printed welcome to cloud email five times. As long as this condition was satisfying, it kept printing. So how it happened? How it happened? Right now i is zero. So what happened is, <clears throat> uh, right now in first loop, what happened in first loop? See, right now i is zero. So zero is less than five, which is true. So it printed welcome to cloud ML. Now, similarly for second loop, what happened? It said, now when I was zero, I also incremented I by one. So now I is one. One is less than five. It's true. It printed welcome to cloud ML. Similarly for third loop, same thing happened. Now is this time I again, I incremented by one. So what happened? This is true print. Welcome. <clears throat> it was true. This is also true. Again, print welcome. Same thing. Two is less than five. True. Print welcome. Same for fourth loop. Now again, three is less than five. This is true. Again, I printed welcome. Now this time fifth loop. See this time also four is less than five, which is true. So print welcome. Now when I was four again, it incremented by one. It is keep incrementing as long as the condition is true. So sixth time what happened is Five is less than five. Now it is false. It is false this time. Get out. So <clears throat> it exited. It finished while loop. This is how it's happening. First loop, second loop, third loop, fourth loop, fifth loop. As long as this condition is true. As this is true. This is how while loop works with a condition. Let me show you another example. Let's say this time I create a variable flag and it is true. Now I will say while flag. This means as long as flag is true. As long as flag is true. While flag is true. Um, let's say print. Let me create another variable also. Mm. I equal to 
zero. Print i, then increment i plus equal to by five. And then I will say, I will use if condition here. If i equal equal to 50, if i equal equal to 50, I will say flag equal to false. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to print i and then increment it by five. And then I will check if i is 50, then I will change. I will say that flag is false so that I can get out of the loop. So let's just see. <clears throat> so what it did, it printed 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, up to 45. See? This is how it works. Like this time I embedded if condition. And I said as long as flag is true. So let me show you how it's working also with this one also. Let me explain. So first loop. First loop flag is true okay and i is zero if condition is not met so first it printed you know flag is true i is zero uh, print i first and then i is zero if condition is not met also like i I incremented by five now. Now, if condition is not met, so flag is still true. So it will go for second loop. This is first loop. First loop flag is true. Then I printed I incremented also. Now my I is five. Now, if condition is not met, so it didn't run. Now, <clears throat> same for second loop. This time, flag is still true. Now, I print, uh, print I, which is 5. Here, it was 0. Then again, increment. And again, if condition is not met. Now again, since my flag is still true, I will go for third loop. Again, flag is true. Increment i by five. This time I will stand right now. Increment i by five if condition not met. It will keep going up to like a ninth loop, I guess, ninth loop. <clears throat> and then when the moment, the moment, i is incremented from 45 to 50 this condition will be met and it will get out so it will print up to 45 it will print up to 45 because after at the time of 45 it will become 50 and this condition will be true so this is how it's working guys so just uh, try to understand this write this down just like i did it right now this is how i also learned because many times loops are very deep hard to understand so this at the time write on paper write the logic let's go for for loop now so how for loops work as i said for loops is very easy it's not that complicated uh, we do it uh, when we are iterating over something we are uh, uh, we know the range you know like for example let me show you there's a function uh, there's a method range let's say range 5 what it does if it gives you okay Range means range is a method. It gives you a value up to the point five, excluding this value. So for example, as I print, said called range, let I say list of range. Same output you will see now how it shows. It gives you zero, one, two, three, four. Now let's say I would like to loop over this for i in range five. Now and put a colon here. Remember this colon thing, when you put a condition, you put, pass a colon, and then this is indentation. This is indentation. Take care of this. 
uh, same with after if also after colon there's an indentation here we have double indentation because if comes inside of while so this indentation is for if and this indentation is for while so let's go now for i in range 5 i would like to print i now what it will do it will print all this value 0 1 2 3 4 i said for i in range 5 for values in this print this so you can see i have got 1 2 0 1 2 3 4 if you want if you don't want it in a vertical line if you want it in a horizontal line you can pass a parameter here and equal to space and by space not by new line it will give you like this this is how you can uh, use for loop it's very simple let's say i have a list of fruits let's say i have fruits or i say apple mango banana instead of range now you can say for i in fruits because you want to print fruits it means <clears throat> for each value in fruits for each item in fruits print i you see i have got apple mango banana this line and this line has a lot of difference it says for i in range of 5 print i actually on the certain level it's same like i am saying that for each value in uh, for each item in this print this same thing uh, but sometimes let's say you would like to access it in a different you can do the same thing in a different way. Let me show you for i in range of length of fruits. What does it this what does this mean? Uh, length of fruits is what? One, two, three. This is similarly equal to for i in range of three. Because range of three means uh, 0, 1, 2. And length of fruit is 3. So range of 3 is same. This is equal to range of this thing. Okay. Equivalent to this. Now, uh, for i in range length, of, I'm saying now print. Now I will index fruits i. Logically, if you see fruits, if you see, let me show you, print fruits zero, uh, zero. Print fruits one, what, what it will give? It will give apple, mango, same thing. The same thing I'm doing here for I in range length of fruits, range of three, fru print fruits i. I'm writing only one line here after in for loop and it, it will print all the fruits here suppose if i have 100 fruits here and i just use loop and then i print it like this it will give me all the names of the fruits otherwise i will be printing like this fruit zero fruits one fruits two fruit three and so on so this is how looping helps us helps us you can iterate over uh, uh, list tuples dictionaries so this is how guys uh, it works you can iterate over uh, data structures in python you can iterate over a string also for example let me show an example of strings let's say uh, name equal to let's say welcome to cloud email this is string i have and i say for i in name print i it will print all the letters here. It will print all the letters here like this. So you can iterate over any iterable item in Python. And it is also printing a space. You can see that. So this is how we do looping, for loop, while loop. So guys, just practice, experiment, Google on this. See more code on this on Google and uh, enjoy learning. So guys, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe and support us and comment below how, how was the video and what would you like to see us. Thank you guys.